Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculptures, cloth dolls sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself, darling, and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me, and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far, I have books one, two, and three, and the book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I created using oils and herbs and all uh, kind of good stuff. And today's reading, I am going to channel your inner seductress, child. We want to see what are her assets, what does she need, is she happy, what advice does she have for you. If you are interested in making cloth dolls, I have a plethora of free cloth doll making tutorials on my channel. All you need to do is to click the button here. Let's go ahead and jump into this reading child. I don't want to hold this up. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about this particular hand looking at your inner seductress. I wrote a spread for this reading so we're going to go in the order of the uh, spread. The first card represents what is amazing about you, what you're good at, your, what your assets are. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you in terms of what are you good at? What's amazing about you? Your relationship with money is rooted in your childhood. 
But first off, Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents our root chakra and our body. Okay, so whatever happened to you in your childhood, you've learned how to manage money well. Either your parents were really good with money or really bad with money, but either way, it has really helped you. Now, the issue that you have is not so much, I'm not going to say you even have an issue. You know how to attract money to meet your basic needs, but I don't, I'm not sure if what you're doing make you feel good about yourself. I don't know if what you're doing feels um, pleasurable or make you happy or you just look forward to going to work the next day. But in terms of meeting your basic needs, you are pretty good at it. The next card represents your weakness. Like what do you, what's missing? And the card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. Now what this card means it is that even though you're really good at making money, you you are not good at making money doing something that really brings you pleasure or doing something that you love. So your inner seductress, she kind of feels like she doesn't feel very sexy or very magnetic or very uh, she doesn't feel like she's attracting the life that she feels that she deserves so it's like yes I can make money but this is not I don't really feel like I'm using my talents and my gifts I don't feel like I'm really expressing myself to the world in the way that I really want to so that's the weakness and the third card is what is it that you need to do immediately to bring more pleasure, more joy into your life? And the card I have for you is from the Jungle Beauty Goddess's father, the Matter. And his message to you is, let me get it in focus here, is that you are the ruler of your reality. So what you need to do right now to bring more pleasure, more joy into your life is that you need to step outside the box. So for example, there are people who sometimes when they hear that, oh, this job, the factory is paying this amount or Amazon is paying that amount. So even though you're able to like get jobs, but for some reason you feel empty, you don't feel happy because you are following, you're following conventional knowledge and wisdom and what's already out there you're you're too afraid to like break the mold and do something different but this your inner seductress is she feels like you know she feels like where's my red lipstick where's where's the fun where's the ooh la la so the ooh la la is really what's missing but in order for you to gain the ooh la la you're going to have to realize that you are the ruler of your reality which means that you're going to have to do something different you're going to have to break outside of the norm so i don't know if you're the person kind of person who wants to start a blog or a youtube channel or a podcast or maybe if you want to you know um try to do voiceovers maybe write a comic book maybe write your own book but whatever it is you need to like stop looking at oh everybody and their daddy got a book or you know um people telling you well if you go to school to be a teacher you're not going to make any money so you make money because you follow the rules of society but making money that way is leaving you em empty so your inner seductress is that part of us is able to attract what we want using our beauty and our charm and she feels like she is not she doesn't feel glamorous that would be the best way I could say it she feels like she's wearing work boots she feels like you know she has on a uniform she doesn't really feel like she's using her feminine beauty and charm to get what she wants she's kind of using you know pulling up you know there's nothing wrong with hard work but she doesn't feel happy okay so the last card I have for you is um 
what does your inner seductress want you to know about your self-esteem and the card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and her message to you about your self-esteem is ask your body what it needs to feel wealthy oh wow this is pretty deep so asking your body what it feels to, to what it needs to feel wealthy means that even though you may have money you still don't feel wealthy and wealthy in terms of feeling rich because you're happy with who you are and what you're doing because you're not you don't feel like your life is on purpose you don't feel like you're following your mission so one of the things I really like for you to do is take a moment and think about if money was not an object if money was not a part of the equation what would you do with your life like if you didn't have to think about you know well is this book going to sell how long is it going to take to make money on YouTube or to write a blog or to if I try to make an album and sell it how long is it going to take to make money if you just take all of those factors and just you know push them to the side and just think about how you would like to see yourself five years from now just honestly just think about what it is you really want what makes you happy like what did you do like you know, when you were a kid and you just it brought you so much pleasure think about that and then work your life backwards so let's just say whatever that vision is just back engineer it and start thinking like what are the steps that I need to take to make my dream of dreams come true so now I'm going to listen for a message from the appetite skull to see if there's additional information for you from your inner seductress We want you to start seeing affirmations every day affirming what it is you want out of life. We want you to say, I am beautiful. I am intelligent. I am wise. I am living my life on purpose. Each day you will see a clue for what you need to do that is going to bring more pleasure and joy into your life. Look for it in the smallest things. The songs on the radio, the television shows that you're watching, the music that you listen to. Pay attention to what is making your heart beat a little bit faster. Pay attention to the things that are bringing you joy these are the gifts that you're going to share with the world as you settle into what makes you happy you will find your inner seductress will come to life you will see people will start to tell you that you're glowing and tell you how beautiful you are because it is your inner light that is shining through so let us recap we want you to start seeing affirmations. I am happy. I am intelligent. I am wise. I am beautiful. I am living my life on purpose. My life is saturated with pleasure and joy. Say these every night before going to bed, or you can write your own as well. Because what we want you to do is train your subconscious mind to start seeing yourself as a very happy person, to see yourself as this inner seductress who's able to attract what you want using your charm and beauty. As you do this, we want you to start paying attention to your outer environment, to everything you come in contact with, the people you talk to, the music you listen to, the lyrics, the television shows, everything in the environment, even 
the messages or ads that pop up on your social media because these are all going to be clues to you. Pay attention to what actually brings you pleasure. Do you enjoy makeup? Do you enjoy fashion? Once you tap into the things that bring you pleasure, we would like for you to start to take small steps in terms of thinking about how you can include these tasks into your life. As you do this, people will begin to tell you that you have an inner glow. People will see how joyful you are, how happy you are with, who, with yourself. This is what you need to do. Making money is not what brings out the inner seductress to play. What brings out your inner seductress to play is her ability to see that she is already rich and she is already wealthy because her beauty and charm is all that she needs. Well, that is the message the beautiful blue appetite have for you from your inner seductress. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the red butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective understanding about your hand. For this particular reading to channel in your inner seductress, I wrote out a spread. So each card is connected to a question. The first question is, what th what things are amazing about you? What's good about you? What what are the things you have working for you in terms of your inner seductress? So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you, she represents our heart chakra in terms of what you do well, what's, what's amazing about you, what's working for you, is that you love yourself unconditionally. That is so beautiful. So this is pretty awesome. So for your inner seductress, says you love yourself unconditionally you have a big heart and if you love yourself you probably love other people you're probably very charming and beautiful and you know and people really like you so the next card represents what is your weakness like what is the thing that you really need to work on so the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby and her message to you from your inner sed seductress is tap into your grit now what this means is that what I'm picking up is that you give up easily so if you're working on a project and things don't really work out the way you thought that it should you give up so maybe you're the type of person who have a lot of irons in the fire or you quit this job or you quit that job you quit this relationship or whatever but you're not the kind of person who is really good at sticking out and moving through obstacles so in terms of your inner seductress you really need to tap into your grit and you know get that prom just a little dirty girl you know just kind of like understand it's okay if your lipstick fade and maybe your hair is not perfectly in place but it's okay to power through so the next question for from your inner seductress is what does she need what does she need right now in order to have more joy in her life and the card that I have for you is from jungle from the jungle beauty goddess's father the matter and his message in terms of what you need to do to have more joy in your life is silence is unspeakable power so you know what I'm picking up from from your hand is that the thing you need to do right now to have more joy in your life is stop telling people what it is you want to accomplish or what it is you're doing. If you want to go back to school, go back to school, but don't tell anybody that you're going back to school. If you're going to start a YouTube channel, just start it. Don't tell anybody. Because 
basically when you tell people your dreams, it kind of, you know, they have certain expectations and then it put pressure, it puts pressure on you to have expectations as well. Like when people say, well, how many subscribers do you have? Or how much money are you making? How many books did you sell? Or what did you get in your last test? So when people start asking you questions about your project and what you're working on and you don't feel like your project is moving as quickly as it should, it, it puts out your, your enthusiasm, your fire. You kind of don't feel as motivated. So in order for you to really, you know, allow your inner seductor, it's a part of you to attract what it is you want by using your beauty and your charm, is that you really need to, you know, sashay, be, be quiet, let, let, be quiet about um, what it is that you want, keep those dreams and goals to yourself, and move in silence. And the last question for your inner uh, seductress is, what is it, what does she want you to know about your self-esteem? And the card that I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her card, this, her message to you from your inner seductress regarding your self-esteem is that you need to, oh, take a risk. So you're, oh, this is so good job. So your inner seductress wants you to take a risk. So this could mean that you should dye your hair blonde or maybe dye it red or burgundy or pink or blue or green, uh, wear bold red lipstick or maybe a dark deep you know, blue lipstick or whatever it is, some fishnet pantyhose. But your inner seductress, she wants you to make changes. And it doesn't just have to be in um, the way you look, but it could also be in how you approach life. And so one of the suggestions from the cards is that you should silence its unspeakable power, is that you should really show people and not tell them. Let people see you shine. Let people see you do your thing. And that is where you're, you know, you're going to see a shift in being able to get more of the things that you want. So she wants you to take risk, which means that if there's this dream inside of you, if you want to go to broadcasting school, whatever it is, just go ahead and do it. So we're not just talking about, oh, change your hairstyle or buy a new dress. We're also talking about take a risk on your, in your life. Go for gold. Do whatever it is that you really want to do. And people always ask me the question, like, how did you, you know, do this? I hate to say it, but there's no way to do something than to actually do it. And I, and I always say this, be willing to fail. Be willing to write a book where people say, oh, my God, you know, um, this is horrible. Or I don't, you know, you had a typo on one page, whatever. You can't, I've, I have found that people usually don't follow their dreams because they're afraid of the criticism from other people. But you know what? Who cares what people think? You have, it's the only way you're going to be able to make your dreams come true. So now I'm going to listen to this beautiful star alien being and see if there's an additional message. I'm so sorry. I forgot to thank the others for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate your service. So um, we're going to see if, if there's an additional message from this person's inner seductress. You already have everything you could ever want. You don't need to look outside of yourself. You just need to believe in yourself. When you reach an obstacle in your life, realize that this is not an obstacle in terms of preventing you from accomplishing your dreams. This is an opportunity for you to grow in a new way, to learn new lessons, to develop new skill sets, to look deep within yourself and see how strong you are. Obstacles are not created to show you your weaknesses. Obstacles are created to show you your strengths. 
So the next time you go after a goal or a dream and things become difficult, realize that you have everything you need within yourself to make this dream come true. What you should do is first follow your intuition. What we would like for you to do is take a moment to count back backwards. Find a quiet place and count back backwards from 25. So 25, 24, 23, so forth. Make sure that you are able to see the numbers. Once you get to zero, sit in silence for a minute and, and, and let information pour into you to help you unravel your next move. Do this every day and keep a journal. But do not give up on your goals and dreams. So for example, if you cannot take two classes, then take one class. Even if you wrote one page a day, that would be 365 pages for your book. Start extremely small. Believe in yourself. That is all. Thank you. So that is the message, the additional message from the star alien being from your inner seductress. Believe in yourself and start small. Keep things to yourself and take a risk. And um, I hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. For your inner seductress, I created a spread and for each card there is a question. The very first card answers the question. What is it that you do well? What is good about you? What's amazing about you? What you kind of, you know, you got it in the bag. Your, bag. your inner seductress is like, you know, we, we kind of got this. So the first card I have for you in terms of what you're good at is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner seductress is listen to your heart. So basically this card is saying that what you're really good at is that you're good at listening to your heart. You have a good heart. Like you tend to know who to trust. You you, you're, you have a forgiving spirit. You know um, what to do in terms of selecting the right career or going after the right dreams. You're a hard worker. You listen to your heart and you make good choices. That is what's amazing about you is that you have a good heart. Now the next card represents what your weaknesses are, the thing that you, that you need to work on. And the card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And this card is seen from your inner, inner seductress. If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. So what I'm picking up from your hand, child, is that you're the, you're a really hard worker. You're a go-getter. And you kind of think that, you know, when I finish my degree and that's when I'll be happy. When, you know, once I do A, B, C, D, and E, then I'll be happy. Once the kids are out of school, I'll be happy. And... Your inner seductress is telling you that if you're waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. No matter where you are in your life, I don't care if you have 18 credit hours in school, I don't care if you're working 60 hours a week, whatever you are doing, your inner seductress is telling you that you need to be happy right now because happiness is not 
and a feeling that is going to happen because you've graduated or because your kids are no longer babies or because you have finally, you know, finished school or you made 200 videos or you wrote your book. It doesn't work like that. Happiness is a state of being and she wants you to work on being happy now. Like whatever you're doing in your life right now, she wants you to find joy and pleasure in the little things in life. And I'm going to tell you the best way to get started is simply like right now if you're eating Cheetos just really look at those Cheetos and thank them and just just say taste them like really taste them like not just like wolf them down but just think about how cheesy it is like if you're chewing a piece of gum like if you're drinking a coke or water whatever if you're taking a shower just like so appreciate it appreciate the smell of your soap appreciate your lotion appreciate your car appreciate your bed like i know there are days i feel like there is nothing in the world more special than my bed have you ever just like uh, just like stretched out uh, and it feels so good to be in your bed and it's you know maybe it's cold out or it's wet out or whatever and your bed just feels so good like just start appreciating every little thing in your life and this is going to help you. It's going to help you, you know, feel more pleasure. It's like sometimes people think that if they hit the lottery or when they finish their degree or when some big event happens, they're going to be happy. But to be happy, you have to be happy right now at this very moment. Find something to be really happy about in every single moment. And every night for at least 30 days, write down 10 things that really brought you happiness or joy so the next question that we have from your inner seductress her message to you is what she needs right now for you to add more pleasure in your life because the seductress is really all about charm and femininity and just enjoying it and she, the card that I have for you on what you need to do right now to bring more joy into your life is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is from your inner seductress. Your body is a reflection of your ancestors' evolution. Wow. So your inner seductress is telling you that you need to really love your body the way it is and understand that if you have freckles, then maybe you know your great grandmother had freckles and your gr and your grandfather fell in love with her because of those freckles and that every single thing about you is that way because somebody loves somebody else so a lot of times you know people want to have surgery like they don't like their nose or they don't like the you know the way their body is designed or different body parts but the truth is your body is a reflection of your ancestors evolution you are beautiful and you exist because of the very assets that you may not you know find attractive but also your your inner oh my god your inner seductress wants you to accept and acknowledge your unique beauty and your body and your your you know your inner seductress wants you to love yourself unconditionally just the way you are and appreciate the journey that created you so the next card i have for you from your inner seductress in terms of like what it is that she wants you to know is um what she wants you to know about your self-esteem and what she wants you to know about your self-esteem oh my goodness some hands are just magical you hear me so you, your card is from jungle beauty goddess of fire and this is the card in terms of your self-esteem from your inner seductress and she wants you to know you would never fail when you are being yourself tell me this hand doesn't tie in really tight your inner seductress is telling you no matter what size you are and no matter how you look no matter how whatever you think you have going on it has worked for the women before you child and it was able to snag everything that they have and that they want you to appreciate 
all of the people who have loved each other to create you, to give you this very moment in time. You would never fail when you are being yourself. So basically, if you are looking at other people's, I'm just going to say YouTube channels, and you're thinking like, oh, why can't I look like her? Why can't I have curly hair like her? Why can't I be thin like her? Why can't, you know, they're telling you, no, you need to just worry about being yourself because your existence, your physical presence is because somebody loves somebody, because somebody won, child, because somebody won, right? That's why you are here, and they want you to honor and acknowledge that. Your inner seductress is telling you, we are, child, we are beautiful just the way we are. We don't need to be anybody else, and we want you to be happy right now with your life. Oh my God, I love your reading. Okay, so now I'm going to ask this beautiful star alien being, thank you so much for coming. Is there an additional message for this person from the inner seductress? Sorry about the lipstick. Let's try not to get lipstick on them. All right, let's see if there's an additional message. If you change one thing about yourself, you must change everything about yourself. You must change all of the wonderful experiences, all the people who have loved you, all of the moments that you cherish. Don't spend any time wishing that you were anyone else, anywhere else in the world. Look around you and cultivate your own unique beauty, your own unique talents and experiences. You have so much to offer the world. You can attract what you want by wanting what you have. You want what you have. You exude the energy of a person who is happy. You're giving off the frequency of joy. And with the frequency of joy, you can only attract more of the same. Love yourself just as you are. You are not a mistake. This is all. Thank you for this message. So that is the message I have for you oh, from your inner seductress. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the gold butterfly this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. For this particular reading, I wrote a spread and the first question is, what is good about you? What are you doing well? And the first card I have is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And what you do well, or it's first of all, she represents the heart chakra. So I'm going to say that you're good at forgiving and loving people and being empathetic and compassionate. And the card says, if you need to ask questions about love, you already know the answer. So what I'm picking up is from this particular hand is that you're the kind of person that you are able to attract people in your life who adore you, who love you, who feel, you know, but you, you doubt their love. And so maybe you're the kind of person who is like, you know, do, do you really love me? Or um, maybe a, a little insecure or, but the thing is you, you're really good at being in love and attracting love, people loving you, but you don't tend to really believe it. And so if someone loves you and you don't believe it, it really doesn't matter if they love you or not. So I'm picking up that even though you're really good at attracting love and being in love and finding love, that your insecurity maybe kind of push people away. So you're the kind, like somebody call you, you know, I'm not saying that, I hate the word, you're the kind, but 
let's just say you're in a relationship and you want to know where they've been or you you ask a lot of questions like do you love me where is this going I don't know but I'm getting the impression that love finding love is really easy for you but maybe keeping the love is a little bit more challenging because you have difficulty maybe either trusting that they really truly love you so I know so the good thing is that you're able to get relationships but you don't always believe that people love you even though they haven't done anything for you to think otherwise but you just you're just naturally suspicious so the next card I have for you is what are your weaknesses in terms of your inner seductress what is your weakness what is something that you probably should work on and I have the card I have for you is for it's from jungle beauty goddess Chavi and her message to you from the inner seductress is trust your gut use your resolve to move forward so basically what this card is saying your weakness is that you you have a tendency to maybe not trust your instincts so you ask a lot of questions and so the cards are saying that you need to trust love trust yourself like don't push people let me just say this if you meet the right person you have a tendency to you know overthink the relationship that's the word I'm looking for you overthink relationships so either if even if the person is doing all the things right but because you're doubting them you're kind of like pushing them away and then the person who is doing things wrong maybe that's the person that you are given a chance but what the cars are saying is that you really need to trust your gut like you really need to say you know I don't know why I'm questioning this person or doubting that this person loved me and I think it has to do with loving yourself too like loving yourself and trusting yourself and knowing that you're lovable the third car is what it is you need to do right now to have more pleasure or joy in your life and this car is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jenna Beauty Guys Kalahari's message to you in terms of what you need to do right now to have more love and more pleasure in your life. She says, talk less and love more. This is so, this hand is so interesting. So you're putting in some strong heart chakra energy. So basically, talk less and love more. It ties back to the card. If you need to ask questions about love, you already know the answer. So, you know, I was just saying earlier that you probably need to not question or not be suspicious or not be the kind of person who's like where were you or why didn't you call me sooner or do you really love me or where is this headed um, maybe as um, using your your you know your ability <coughs> excuse me to attract what you want you know through your inner seductress is that you should probably I don't want to say be more silent but it says talk less and love more like just show people like allow people to show you how they feel and show them how you feel without um, giving them the impression that you don't trust them or that you don't believe that they actually love you that's what I, that's what I'm picking up is that people have to really go out of their way to prove that they love you even though you find love you have a hard time keeping love because you don't trust the people and you push them away whether they deserve it or not the last card I have for you is a message from your inner seductress in terms of your self-esteem and the card I have for you in terms of your self-esteem is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari you put in some strong heart chakra energy so I'm going to say for sure your inner seductress is um, she meets a lot of people she's able to attract relationships but I'm not sure that they're always working but the last card in terms of your self-esteem is sometimes love means hanging on so again yeah I'm just picking up from your hand that you have a 
a lot of relationships that aren't healthy because you don't feel lovable or you don't feel that the person is but how do I say this no one can demonstrate love to you if you don't believe that they love you and you don't love yourself deeply and intensely or if you're doubting why should this, if you're doubting that you're worthy of that love so no matter how many times that person tell you how much they love you no matter what they show you if you don't love yourself and if you don't feel that you're valuable that you're worthy of love no amount of words and no amount of actions is going to help you to feel love so your cars are saying that you are the type of woman I'm picking up that you are beautiful you're gorgeous you have no problems of finding relationships finding love but you have a hard time trusting the love once you receive it um, and even in relationships that are healthy you doubt the person's agenda or you become very suspicious and so you need to learn how to trust your gut in terms of knowing who you should fight for but the cards are saying that I'm picking out that you're the kind of person that you attract love but you push it away and that you need to work on loving yourself so that you can know how to um, fight for your relationships or know how to um, know when somebody else loves you or feel that they love you or feel their sincerity but first you have to work on loving yourself and feeling that you are lovable so now I'm going to listen to this beautiful star alien being and see if there's an additional message for you thank you so much for coming is there an additional message for this person in terms of from their air seductress let go of your past mistakes you have made so many mistakes in the past that you no longer trust yourself to make good decisions but you cannot move forward looking backwards let go of your past mistakes and forgive yourself no one is perfect You would not learn to love yourself until you first forgive yourself. And the way to forgive yourself is to simply understand that every mistake you've ever made has made you the person that you are. Look at the lessons from each relationship, each person that you've dated. Write down all of the good things and all of the bad things. Bless the relationship and thank goodness that this person came into your life to teach you the good thing. And even the bad things are good things because they are teaching you what you do not want or what to avoid. So please, we're asking you to please let go of your past and to forgive yourself so that you can understand and see that you are lovable. Thank you. So that is the message I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.